Welcome, Strategy Battle Gamers, to another GBHL YouTube video. You are here with your GBHL host, GBHL James. And GBHL Jamie. Ah. Look the rest of the brand did. There it is. Ah. <laughs> More of a Coke Zero man myself. Thank you very much, Jamie, for giving me your last Diet Coke. That's like giving someone your last Rolo. <laughs> well, I gave you that one, then I took this one. This is the last one. We're doing a GBHL unboxing. Uh, we would like to thank somebody for this. Yes, we'd like to thank Mr. William Poitner for sort of letting us buy <laughs> this set here this is the scouring of the shire set that we are going to be unboxing today now will point he brought this with him to mansfield he did yes um now he's a student and he made a big commitment to come to the tournament and to come to some tournaments of course that's quite expensive so he brought his scouring of the shire to try and sell off uh, to pay for the tournament basically yeah. you know and that is supporting your hobbit hobby so i think will point deserves a round of applause Upon realising that he didn't sell this, he lent it to us to unbox, yeah. and we think that that's such a great gesture that we're actually going to buy it. Off him. We're going to buy it off him, and we love the models. Yeah, the, the models are cool anyway. So the models are cool. So this is a joint GBHL channel investment, yep. of which so, I'm getting all the hobbits on ponies. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting worm. Yeah, Chuck him sure you are. <laughs> this is a joint thing. Okay, so we're oh, going to well, go to the box. I, I knew starting the channel, Isengard. Obviously, you would want surely Sharky and Worm, and I'll have the hobbits on the ponies. Nah, mate. <laughs> Ooh, what's that? I don't know. Okay, so we're going into the box now. So let's have a little bit of a look. Yep. The what, what, do any paints recommend? It doesn't. Oh. Oh, so no, no old school paints. To recommend. No, is this a box from abroad or is this what the box? No, this is box from abroad. Oh, yeah. yeah. It is indeed. Okay. So looking at this, what you get inside is you get all of the hobbits, but most importantly, they are on ponies. And this is the only way to get hobbits on ponies. It is, yes. Unless, of course, you make a conversion yourself. So they're very sought after miniatures. Yeah. And then you've also got Sharky and Worm, mm -hmm. which I have to say, I love the look of these models. Yeah, Sharky and Worm is so cool. I love the look of them. So, as always, in a uh, channel unboxing, we're going to have a little look at the models. We will briefly go through some of the profiles. Yes, yeah. Um, but, of course, you will have probably seen us talk about hobbits at various points. And Sharky and Worm, I think, are the key ones to talk about on this. Yes, yeah, I think so. Okay, so let's have a look. Which model we're going to pull out first? Um, who might this be? This is Frodo of the Nine Fingers. Frodo of the Nine Fingers. Okay, yeah. so let's have a little bit of a look on the model. Now, I think that the models themselves are pretty basic, but it's a pretty cool model, that. Yeah, well, the, the, the sort of really cool ones are the, actually the other Hobbits. Because they've, they've got their armour on from the regions they go to, and Samwise is just looking kick-ass. Yeah, that, okay, so Fro I like the look of Frodo. He mm -hmm. looks good. He looks really good. looks quite noble. and He's a bit, he's a bit rubbish in-game, though. He's like the last Hobbit to be taken, usually. And that's because he can't make strikes. I'm right in saying that. He can't charge, and he can't make strikes. He can defend himself, but he can't make strikes. Yeah, so he can win the fight and push you away. And rubbish. next up we've got... Is this Sam? Um, oh, that's that's uh, Merry. That's Merry. Yeah, he's got his, he's got his Rohan, Rohan stuff Rohan on. cloak on. Rohan! That's right. Let's have a little look. Has here. he ever been included in one of your forces? No. No? Why not? Because he doesn't fit in. I like his pony. His head's a bit cartoony in that. I don't know if you agree. It seems quite... What, the pony? No, the... Uh, the... the... I think this, this does seem a little bit bigger than the others. Yeah, his head seems a bit bigger. And it's quite white, goofy. Might man size. Yeah, like a man-sized head. Um, actually, he would make a good substitute for Tyrion Lannister. He would have seen that face. He looks yeah. like Tyrion Lannister. That's what well, what a poor thing to say about Mary. <laughs> <laughs> Mary looks like Tyrion Lannister. Yeah, it's a lovely model though. Yeah, yeah very cool. A lovely model, just a bit cartoony on the head, mm -hmm. uh, but very cool having him with the Rohan gear on. Yep. Yeah. So we got to see that for yourself. Again, good idea is to type in Scouring the Shire set into your Google while you're listening to this, so you can pull up the pictures and you can have a little look yourself. Yeah. Uh, now, so we've got Samwise the Brave. I do like Sam here. That is not Samwise. Oh, yeah, is it? It is. Yes, yeah, that is Samwise. Got the yeah. White tree on. yeah, he's a bit plumper. Oh, he is a cool model. He is a cool model. So even his pony is a little bit chunkier. That is a nice pose, and the detail in the face is... Pretty good actually for Sam. That actually really does look like Sam. Mm -hmm. uh, I really like that. I really like that. And of course, he's got Sting there as well. 
He does have Sting, so Frodo has given Sting to him. Yeah. And then finally got Pippin with his white tower. More white tree. Yeah. So this is Pippin when he's come back from Gondor. Hmm. And again, the, the likeness is quite good. Let's have a look. I'll show you have to grab the Fallen Realms book, so we've got the Sharky and Worms rules. Yeah, that's not a bad likeness. Um, the head isn't as cartoony as uh, Mary's. Actually, the likeness on that is very good. It looks like the guy. What's his name? Uh, Mary it's, is... It's not Billy Floyd, is it? Billy yeah, Billy is. Floyd, that's right. Well done. Good work, Ghibli. Knew you were here for some reason. Okay, so... And then we've also got Sharky and Worm. Now, these are really cool poses. I see a lot of these. But the, oh, uh, wow. The, the old schedule, like when we very first started. Wow. <laughs> Unboxing Dwalin. Unboxing Dwalin. We did a lot that day. Well, that's where we're up to. We don't write down our schedule anymore. No, just we message just, it to just, each other. We just do it. Yeah, so the Sharky model is one that I really like. Yeah, with this sort of twisted staff. and It's got a lot of character. And with the wind kind of blowing behind it like that, I don't know if you guys can see that, with his cape, there is a lot of character in this miniature. Mm -hmm. And he's got a different profile to Saruman, mm -hmm. which is a interesting. Very, a very, very different profile. And I think we should talk about that. So let's, Yes, yeah, let's, let's talk about this one. So... Saruman, obviously we know he's a wizard, fight five. Mm -hmm. Sharky, he's, a bit, he's been defeated, he's fight four. He remains at strength four, but um, he's a bit weaker, so he loses some of his defense. He's back down to defense four. Still only one attack, loses a wound, he's one wound, and courage four, so he's not as brave as he used to be. He's got one might, which is a bit naff, four will, and one fate. And his war gear is a two-handed weapon and a dagger. So... Big step down from Saruman. Big step down. But the key thing here is how much he costs. Yes. 60 points for both Sharky and Worm. Which is pretty impressive. Yeah. Um, so he has taken a big hit to his profile, mm -hmm. but he is cheap. And if you look at his magical powers... He still remains is... a threat. Yeah. And this is this is why you might take them. Okay, so we'll start with the, the lesser of the two spells. He's got Terrifying Gore, cast on a 2+. plus. Now, honestly, I don't think you need Terrifying Aura on this guy. He's not going to be your general or anything. Mm -hmm. So, you don't need that. What you want him for, with his 4 will, is he's got Mobilize on a 2 plus still. So it's a really handy thing for, sort of, especially in the lower level games, to really chop down the big hero. Yep. And shut him down throughout the game. Well, if you look at it from, uh, let's say that we're talking about maybe Damien or Owen bringing Bilbo and being able to put him in contact and effectively... Essentially, transfix him. Transfix him. And this guy's got that, and he's costing 60 points. Yeah. You know, which is the same. Yeah. And you're yeah. getting Grima as well. And you're getting Worm. Oh, yeah. So, worm. worm is a bit different. He's His combat stats are rubbish. He's essentially just a man. He's fight two, strength three, defense three, one attack, one wound. No might, will or fate. And he's got broken loyalties. So obviously, Saruman's not got the same control over him that he used to have. And if Sharky is reduced to one wound and has no fate remaining, Worm becomes a good model and must move towards and attack Sharky if possible. If Sharky is slain, Worm reverts to being an evil model. A very fluffy profile. Yes, yeah. So obviously if you are controlling him, Worm is essentially just you just use him as a throwaway guy. You don't even want to risk him being around. No, nope. you get him as far away as possible. Now let's look at the model, because again, this is a model that is full of character. Yes. Full of character. He's down. He's crawling, he's creeping. Just like in the... He's um, down and out, isn't he? He's down and out, yeah. This is a great pose. I actually think that pose as Worm works really great for Grima. Yeah. It's sort of like the backstabber, whereas... I've actually got... Actually, give me one second, I'll go get the actual Grima model. Well, you don't get... So, in the movie, so those of you that have watched the movie and not read the book... Jamie's not read the book. It's unbelievable. Um, in the movie, of course, Saruman is killed by Grima on top of Borthank, and he's stabbed in the back there. But of course, in the books, it doesn't happen like that. Uh, while the Fellowship and the Hobbits are making their way to Mordor, Saruman and Grima actually broken Saruman, Scour make their the way Shire. to the Shire to basically mm -hmm. destroy the homeland of the Hobbits. And they yes, use ruffians and... Ruffians and... So effectively enslaved the Shires. That's right. And they scour the Shire. Um, so it, they become Sharky and Worm, 
effectively to become shotgun. And in the movies, that doesn't happen. No, Legolas just shoots him. Legolas just shoots him, which isn't as cool. No, it's not. Isn't as cool as what happens in the books. But you can understand PJ. Yeah. He's just had a three-hour film. He then doesn't need to go back to the Shire. I have another battle scene. No. Probably not. It's very hard to... Well, it had multiple endings anyway, the movie, didn't it? Yes. Um, so very hard to sort of add an extra ending. In all these goodbyes. Oh, we saved the world. Get back home. Oh, no. So what was it you were looking for? You were looking for... I was the... looking for the original Grima model. I just think... I think for Grima, I think the, sh- the, the worm model actually is much better. Um... I prefer that one. Yeah, this 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 Grima definitely is Grima counselling Theoden. Yeah. It's it's him there, you know. This one here, just, these these models are so full of character, and that's why I love them. Sharky and Worm, they're characterful models. They've got fluffy profiles. Yeah, you can see where Sharky might be uh, handy. We've seen him at a couple of tournaments with Damien when he brings mm. five hundred points. Yes, yeah, because he struggles for that mid level. Although he's, he's still, um, I, I spoke to Damien. He's still not sure if he's actually worth taking. Or if we should just take another captain or, or a guy here. Mm-hmm. Or whether at that mid re- level, whether it's worth actually putting Thryden in there. Yes. I don't think he will because I don't think he wants to put dumb things in his Urukai. But still. So, yeah, really characterful models. So, let's talk a little bit about the Shire models mm-hmm. and their profiles. So, these guys, as they are on ponies, are from the Shire part of the yeah, Free Yeah, I don't, don't have the Free Sam, Sam, Sam Jeffrey at this current time has my Free Peoples. He picked it up in Mansfield. Did he? Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Um, so we know that Frodo of the Nine Fingers can't make strikes. Yep. Um, Sam carries Sting. Yes, so he's strength three. So he's strength three. And Merry has the horn of the Riddermark, which gives plus one to hobbits and yes. shy horse. So you can combine that with a horn from the uh, from the archers can take one and give you hobbits plus two courage. Yep, and also he can upgrade to battling brandy bucks. Yes, and that gives strength three. That gives strength three. And then you've also got Peregrine Took, who can upgrade to Turkish Hunters, Hunters, which gives fight three. Fight, yeah. fight three, exactly. Uh, fight three, shoot value three. Yeah. So they're actually pretty handy models to have, especially yeah. if you do have a Shire Force. These I are, they're all they're, they're all two might heroes as well. And they're very sought after mo- model. Yeah, yeah. Very sought after model. So we're really, really chuffed to be able to People really these. want them. For their ponies they do and it's a shame that you're going to see a lot of these cut up to make dwarves on ponies of course you don't necessarily need to do that anymore the dwarf adventurer coming from shadow and flame have yes. you seen that model uh-huh. lovely models so you won't have to cut these up anymore you can use these as they are because they are gorgeous models um really oh, they were gorgeous they, they models. were gorgeous models they were gorgeous models um and nice fluffy profiles as well which is what we like in our lord of the rings Scene. And is there a scenario that goes along with these? Yeah, the scouring of the Shire. Yeah, and Although, it just uses these models? It won't just use these ones. It'll use a bunch of ruffians and it will have Hobbit militia as well. So maybe we'll get these painted up. We might send them off to Shadow and Flame and we can do a scenario with them at some point soon. Hope you've enjoyed this unboxing, guys. So if you've seen these guys in action, if you've got the scouring of the Shire set, let, let us, us know. know. Let us know how they get on. This has been GBHL James. GBHL Jamie. With another channel unboxing video, make sure you comment, like, share, and subscribe. Support your Hobbit hobby. And happy strategy battle gaming.